you all need to practice along with me. And if you, and I have humble request, if you are not able to do, especially those who are having internet issue or those who are not able to focus because of their tiny screen, you can always stop me instantly, but don't stop me after 10 minutes. Because if you stop me after 10 minutes, use case will be different. Because I need to teach you nine, 10, nine to 12 use cases. Okay. And every use case, it's a very different. So in case if you are not able to do one exercise, don't worry. You can do the second exercise. Don't be disgraced. Uh, because your computer, your setup, your speed, your mouse movement, your internet, all those matters. I'll draw it. I'll not go too fast where it will be a trouble. But at the same time, you need to be reasonably good at. So we can do the nice exercise. This access today's class will give you enough confidence that you can do any Tableau desktop or sorry, dashboard or visualization project. So first, what we are going to do, we're going to have, we will use sample store file. And we'll start asking questions, right? How my regions doing, how my regions are doing. Or we'll ask about how my categories are doing. Or we'll ask question how my states are doing. Then we'll ask a questions about how how profit versus profit versus you know sales. Then we'll ask about what percentage what percentage of gain or loss I have. Then we'll ask about what state states, what are top five, uh, top five states profit wise. Then we'll ask about what are my bottom five states profit wise. Then we'll combine this thing and try to create a matrix, which is called KPI or sometimes we call matrix. Then we'll create a dashboard and we'll try to publicize. We pub publish this thing. Now, all those things will take time, okay? But my goal is to reach this many things without any difficulty so you can do nice project. I always tell people, and this is what I learned from my education, a person who does not put effort on him or herself a person will not grow in here, his or herself. So when you do the homework and lab, you are not really doing for me. You are doing for yourself, right? You are a mature adult, right? But if you if you do those which I'm explaining today, trust me, you are considered as a one or two years of experience right there. But if you don't do it, you remain as a beginner. The difference between is how important your career is, only you know, I don't. For me, all of you are important. But for you, you should have a highest, you know, what you call priority about your career. Because if you go in interview, such kind of questions people will ask you. And I'm going to walk you through the practical things. Along with that, I have to cover a lot of aspect about formatting, formatting aspect, label, filter, layout. And there are so many things. If you are going for certification, today's class is 100% important. If you do not know, you can't complete the certification. That I can give you 100% guarantee. So if you are serious about your career, and many of you are, focus and do 100 times. Because you remember, once you know it, lifetime remains with you. At early stage, more practice is needed. So let's begin. So right now, I have my Tableau desktop open. And I'm going to use my Microsoft Excel which is this one, and I'm going to open sample store. Please understand, sample store is kind of a traditional file. Everyone knows sample store. So let's click on it, Microsoft Excel, and any file downloaded. So I already downloaded. In download folder, I have sample store. I downloaded three times. That's why it shows three. If it shows, in your case, sample store, that's perfect file. If it shows one, two, doesn't matter. That's the same file. If your file is different data, it still works. The value might be different. Don't worry about it. That's completely fine. If you use the file which I gave you, we'll have an identical result. But in case if you have different file, don't cry. That's perfectly fine because it has the same column and most likely similar rows. 
So right now I'm going to double click on it. So this one will take me to the inside. So far so good. Any questions? Good. Okay. Now in Tableau, this is your source. This is my file name and under one Excel, I have three, three tables. Now you all know that people is nothing but customer who place order and customer also return. So I'm going to focus on these two table just to give idea. I'll show you the join in case some of you are having little questions. It kind of clarify and we'll go through step by step. Now there are two tables. The master table is order. So order and people we will try to focus on inner join and then we'll continue further. Okay. So first thing you drag the order. Right. You drag the order and drop it here. And when you draw, drag and drop, you will see order data will be visible in the bottom screen. If you carefully notice, this is the table. So this, these are all three tables, but for, from there we selected orders. So for orders, these are all your columns. All your columns or fields are visible. And these are sample data from there. You can see here we are showing that we have a lot more data. Now each data Tableau is very intelligent identifying is a numeric value. Is it alphanumeric? Is it a calendar? Is it like that? And if it is a globe, it's a geospatial. Geospatial. Geo means, sorry, geo means geography and spatial. Please understand spatial means F S P A T I A L. So what does it mean? It means on a map, on a map where this point is, Tableau understand. That's why it use globe. Most of the time Tableau is smart to understand country, state, city and county and sometimes region also. So it is appropriately understood. Tableau has a data, a geospatial database and then boom, it kind of figured out where this point is. If you have a geospatial map will be useful. So sometime we'll use map. If you don't have a geospatial map cannot be used. In that case, you may need to come up with latitude, longitude, you have to convert and then you have to convert into map. Now these are the columns. Tableau always give you thing, but in case if you feel like, you know, you don't want to keep the same column, you can double click and change the column name or data, which we discussed last time. Also, we are using Tableau uh, desktop public here. That's why we don't see here two options in a production or professional version. There are two options you will see. One is called live and one is called extract. One question in the exam extract means <coughs> extracts means you got data from source and you brought it and that's it. Now the data is independent. If you delete even source, you still have data, which is going to remain in a uh, with Tableau extract is always preferred because it does not impact the source live means every time you refresh, you're making call to the real database and that may be impact of the real source. So most of the time when you do reporting, you use extract because it's called OLAP online analytical processing. Ideally, you should always do extract unless somebody asks real time data, which I don't see any reason. A real time data only needed when you are doing election type of thing, right? Uh, who is winning, right? Instantly, I want to know or a Super Bowl instantly. I want to know if you have like such kind of need, then you should re use live data most of the time you will have a uh, what you call offline reporting it means you don't need a real time it, 10 minutes or one hour data uh, refresh is fine in that case you create a schedule aspects we'll talk about that as we go further so right now i have order and it's coming from one table now i want to merge order and people so before i do that there is a tiny arrow if you see carefully you need to click on open so when you click, click on open, it will give you a new editor where you can do join. So click on open. Click on open. So you are here. So far, everyone is with me. Good. Right. I'm hoping you all are with me because I'm hoping you are doing lab along with me as well. So I open it and you can see that now it's open. Now if I drag people and drop somewhere, somewhere here, somewhere here it will automatically try to do join check it out and it knows that there are common aspect of people exist in both tables so it automatically perform inner join that's our default interview questions which one is default 
inner join is the default. Any questions so far? Good. Now, you might notice that there is a scroll bar. If you scroll this thing, something special, I want you to see that. So if you scroll bar this, all columns looks good, but one or two columns, it will show you here, which is here, sorry, my mistake. One column, if you see carefully, it show you like this thing, people region. So what will, what will happen is people region. So when they show this thing, it means this is the table and this is the column. It means it found somehow same column might exist in multiple places. So it gives you alias. This is kind of alias that this is coming from people. But if you see that when it is not duplicate column, means I have two table. If column doesn't exist in both table, then it's clear. This is coming from order table. This is coming from people table. This is coming from order table, clear. But for this one, it appears it exists in both table. And that's why it specify, hey, this is coming from people. So again, if you want to change it, you can. Or if you don't see here, there should be a region. So if I carefully see here, there is a region here. It's coming from order. Now there is no point to have both both column, which is, has a similar value. So you can right click here uh, and then you can hide it. You can hide that part. So you don't have to do that. So I'm going to hide that part. So I not, don't need that. Now, if I go here, everything looks pretty clean. It's always good idea to check it out data. It's a eyeball, make sure everything looks good. If it is not look good, I would go to Tableau Prep Builder and try to clean up. If I need to do split, I need to do like filter, grouping, join, whatever I want to do, I can do in Tableau Prep. Because Tableau Desktop does not have a too much capacity. Tableau Prep does not have too much capacity to perform this activity. So it's very, very important for all of you that you do this exercise in Tableau Prep. Any questions so far? How many join isn't showing up when I add people? Sorry? Join isn't showing up when I add people. It means you did not do open. Did you open first? Oh, okay. First you have to open. So you right click. You see, we talk about right click and you click here and then open. Once we open, then we click. Let me repeat again just for you. No problem. Uh, these are small things, but very important things. So let's try one more time. So I'll, I'll remove it. Yes, Deepika. Deepika, any question? I got it, Tushari. I got the same error as uh, left. So, yeah, I'm good now. Yeah. See, first you drag and drop orders. You drag and drop orders. So, I drag and drop orders. And then you click on this arrow and then you open. If you open, then and then you do proper join. Otherwise, it won't do join. Okay. So, you click on here and say open. So you can see now it's completely open model and this is editor. Now if I drag and drop people, it will do automatically join and ta-da. Good. Now I'll hide this column, which I think I think it's duplicate. I don't need that. I can remove if I want to, but right now I'm going to hide it. So that is good. At this moment, I'm starting with a mindset that I have two table orders and people and I'll continue further. Please understand, if I want to change left outer join, I just need to click here and I just change it. Make sure you can see here the, what sources you are using. So if I have a source here, let's see what source I have. So customer ID is the source. And if I select here, I need to have, what is the source I have? So like example here, person. So people, person. So what is that source? Is that source is matching? There is no, no search matching. So if I click here, if is there anything is matching so customer id customer id so there is nothing matching so when it is not matching it is going to pick up automatically the matching column which in our case looks like a region so we are selecting that okay please understand if you are using table number one and table number two you already know what column is exists in both which allows you to do matching this is your left side which is this one and this is your right side which is this one select and change it. If you want to change this one, you can also change also. Not a problem. Yes, Melanie. Okay, my question. Um, 
it is regarding the field that was chosen. Mm -hmm. Um, that's not a unique field. So why would we join on it? Was that is that gonna? No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna create a problem. Uh, because you can in a in this is not like a normal database join. You can also use greater than equal to less than equal to like that type of thing you can do also. So as long as it's there, it will map it, map it like that. But it won't create a problem. Now, if you ask a real database, then I would look for ID, customer ID, customer ID. I look for oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, this is just for demonstration purpose. Okay. I'm using that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm putting that in my notes. Yeah. Now let's start the magic. Okay. So first thing on your bottom side, there are worksheets are here. So you can click on the worksheets and you will go to the different screen. So if you click on that, you will see this screen. Now there are a few things we want to understand. So you can be comfortable. Please keep eye on the screen. This one is our main data columns. So these are source and column. So this is my source. These are my columns, but columns are divided into two category. One is if you see here, they are like kind of blue color, right? Those are in your, your, we call, remember we talk about GM and BD. We talk about GM and BD. So B means blue and D means dimension. So blue dimension. So it's kind of category where you want to see something. You want to see anything you want to see like a grouping. If you want to do like a, some kind of understanding about that. So example, what can I group? Anything is a spelling I can group. So example, I can group by last name. I can group by city. I can group by you know country. I can group by county. I can group by product. I can group by state. Those are grouping aspect. So blue is a dimension and dimension is nothing but grouping for reporting perspective. You do need one dimension and the G means green and M means measure. Measure means numeric item. Normally numeric item are more are for financial aspect. What is the maximum? What is the minimum? What is the average? What is the ranking? What is the total? What is the max? What is the count? So anything you want to know, so example, how many students we have, who is paying maximum, who is paying minimum, uh, total count, how many students are doing, all those kind of things you have numeric. So whenever you do reporting, you will have one dimension and normally one major. This is normally you will have, so example, I want to know state wise, what is the profit? So state is my dimension and profit is my numeric value. So this one you will be always using because otherwise reporting won't look good. And this one is the lens. This is the lens which you want to see the reporting. So dimension allows you from which angle you want to see the report, right? Again, your managers might be interested in, you are might be interested or what questions you are trying to address based on that you select dimension. Now we can debate dimensions and um, you know categories and all. They are kind of similar, different, different naming conventions. I always tell people very simple, what report you want. As soon as you say the report question, you will give in question dimension. So example, I want to know how my states are doing profit wise. You already give answer how my states are doing profit wise. So profit is my major and state is my dimension. Questions? Good. Okay. So now let's see here. So this part is drag and drop. We will drag and drop. Now this one is a decoration. This is decorations. We'll colorize means beautify our, our reports. We will do more beautifications using this symbol. So make sure you understand this because somebody said that having a report is not useful unless the report is very impressive and interactive. So your goal is to not only just do it, do it polishing form. Polishing is very important because you are going to present to C executives. So it's a very important you do polishing. So this is very important for decorations or labeling or marking or color or size or format. So we'll talk about that. This one is a filtering because you might have a data which is a large set, sets of data and you don't want to focus on all. So you want to filter certain thing. You want to zoom in certain area. So example, I have United States data. I want to focus on particular states or group of states. We can do that. This area where you select columns and row. So please understand columns are like this. So if you want some something like this, you put your peels or your item here. If you put it here, it will look like this. 
But let's say you say you, if you put here, then your report will go in this dimension. I'm going to show you that you can see and you can feel. There is nothing to write, nothing to memorize, and don't need to take notes. I always tell people when you do it, you will learn it. So row means it's this is the row side. So if you want row type of thing, put your pills here. If you want column side, you put your pills here. So let me just show you an example. Why don't you all drag state? So drag your state and put it here, columns. So you can see everything is in column. So drag state, please. Drag your state and put it here. And everything is now column way. And then if you want to put it row, you just drag from here, drag and drop it here, drag and drop it here. So you can drag and drop here, boom. You can see now it look like row. So everything is a row. If you want here, you can do that. If you want here, you can do it. Drag and drop drag and drop so I always tell people external mouse will increase your productivity right away any questions so far good now on the other side on the right side you will see the map sorry charts different different charts right this tableau is very smart if you are using geospatial column geospatial column it will enable this thing and it will automatically gray out which charts are not applicable it's very smart so Tableau gives you hint, hey, these are the only thing you can do because you have this type of column. As you change your column, Tableau will on and off this uh, charts. But if you want to hide this, you click on show me and it will hide that. So if you click on show me, it will hide. And if you click again, it will bring it back. Click again, issue, concerns, any questions so far? Show me is your great friend. You can hide or you can unhide. Questions so far? But now this one. Well, I have a comment uh, to shot. Uh, you uh, asked yes. us to provide a uh, uh, quiz today, right? Uh -huh. Right now, can you hold for that question? Right okay. now, let's focus on this thing because I want to make sure I'm recording also. So we'll focus more okay. here. Any question for this one? Right. Let's focus on this because otherwise I have to change my gear and I don't want to change my gear. Okay. Next is the tool. Please understand this, this toolbar. This is very useful. You may love it. Couple of toolbars you have to remember for lifetime. First is the publish. Publish means you are publishing to the cloud. Today we are going to publish our work to cloud because Tableau, Tableau public does not allow you to save locally. So we have to publish and this one you can publish. If you don't have an account, you can create an account, you can publish. Now, anytime you are going to clean something. So like example, if you wanna clean something, you can clean your, your worksheet. So this is your work, this is content area, which is the chart area. You can clean, like example, if you say, I made a mistake, you can click here, it will reset. It will clean, clean slate. So this area will be done, changed, clean. This one will be clean. It's kind of reset type of thing. This one allows you duplicate. This one will allow duplicate. So like example, I do some work. Please understand. I did some work and I think I have this work. I like it, but I want to create a similar work and make change like this. So I thought, why would I start over? Let me duplicate it. So everything, whatever I have done, it will duplicate it. And then I check, change it. So I have worksheet one and worksheet two. So you save a lot of time. I'm going to show you that. So you will understand. I love duplicate because Tableau allows duplicate. Entire work is duplicated. So sometimes you will spend, and trust me, sometimes minute, small, small thing will take a lot of time. So duplication will save a lot of time if you know it. In industry, this is very uh, easy language. We call copy. So it create a copy of your entire work, which is kind of very big help. Why? Because I spend more time in a first screen decorate it nicely and then I duplicate it and then modify the second screen. So you save so much time in a second worksheet. So it's very useful. Again, publish, clean, very useful. The one we will be using often is transpose. So transpose means like example we saw here, this is the column base. Please understand this is the column base. But if I down, then it is a row base. If you don't want to drag and drop, you just click here and it will do it. Check it out. Why don't you click here? Look at that. Click here, click here, click here. Do you see that? So row to column, column to row. I love this. Couple of times click it so you will remember it. Any questions so far? Good, okay. Now, uh, this one is highlighter. 
So when you are presenting, especially people who are good in presenting, sometimes your presenting Tableau works straight from desktop, straight from desktop. So when you're presenting, we normally use laser, right? Laser beam or sometimes zoom in or annotation. So Tableau does allow highlighter. So we'll talk about highlighter part right now. I don't have any highlighter, but you can say disable work highlighter and we can do highlight. I'll show you with example. So sometimes when you click it, it gives you color, which kind of focus the audience will focus on that aspect, which is kind of good because when you are presenting, you don't know. See right now I'm drawing. If I draw it, you will understand. If I don't draw, you will not know what I'm talking about. So as a presenter, we need to have something called highlighter. So people, audience will follow your presentations and kind of good way to present. So this is we'll use as we go further. This one is called sorting, ascending and descending. Again, very good thing. I'll show you with the example so you will understand. Um, this one is kind of sizing. So like a standard sizing based on your screen. If you want a regular size or freedom, if you want to fit in certain thing, you can do that also. So we'll show you with example. And this one is for presentation. So we're going to try all those things step by step. So before we start, let's start with a simple exercise and then we play around the, all the tools quickly. Okay. So first start with this reset. Click on this reset, clear, clear worksheet. Please do so. So it will clear everything. Click on it. Done. Everything is clean. Good. Remain in moment. Make sure you are with me. Don't do multitasking and don't do that because there are so many things we're going to do. Okay. So first question. I want to know, please understand. What is my question? I want to know how my regions are doing with profit. How many regions are doing with profit? So regions is my dimension and profit is my major. So far so good. You always have one numeric value in order for to do report. Most likely you will have unless you do text analysis. So region wise, how am I doing profit? Very good. Doesn't matter. So just double click on that or you just double click or you drag and drop whichever you works. So if you want to double click or drag and drop, whichever you want to put it here or here doesn't matter. So like example, if I drag and drop here region, so it will be like this. And if I put drag and drop, it will be like this. Again, doesn't matter. I can always transform this. I can transport. So red rows to column, column to rows, I can do that. You can see, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Very good. So I drag and drop region. Now my question is how my regions are doing with respect to profit. So in that case, you double click here or you can put it here. I like to drag and drop so I know what I'm doing. So I click on profit here. As soon as I do profit, Tableau is pretty smart. Tableau says this is the region, this is the region, and this is the profit. So you can see each region, it shows, shows me profit. Now, one thing I want to make sure you understand, if somebody present this thing to the management, they will really not like it. You are showing that, you are showing, but there are so many things management has to understand. They will focus on what are you trying to present. So it's a very important appropriate chart for the management. What we are trying to do? Region wise profit. Any people can do this, but you need to think about what is the right chart selection. And that's why the homework was given. What chart you need to select for the presentation. So region wise profit, the best way to do is a bar chart. So Tableau gives you a hint here. Look at that. Tableau gives you a hint here that this graph is the best graph. However, I have selected rows. So this is bad. So if I do this one, look at that. It's a lot clear. But if I do this, it's a beginner. So we need to make sure our C executive don't have time. So we need to make sure we transform a little bit and make it more readable. You can see now better. Without any question, I can know waste is doing better. And I can see that our central is struggling. Do you guys agree? Say yes or no. Just changing a little bit, I made it easy. But then yeah. all colors are blue. If I'm showing or presenting, if I'm showing and presenting, all colors are blue, mm, people won't understand that. So now decoration. So now let's decorate a little bit. So how do I decorate it? First thing first. Anytime you decorate, you need to know what you are doing. This is not right. You should not have here. So how do I change? So there is a bottom, there's a worksheet here. So whatever you are trying to do, you should write down here. So let's double click here. So I double click here and I'll say region, region wise 
region versus profit. So I'm kind of like that. So you can see now it's more meaningful versus worksheet one. So it's very important give appropriate naming conventions. Sounds good so far. So double click and change the name. If you if you like certain type of things, Tableau gives you color also. Like example, if you are doing some important thing, you can do color also. So you can do grouping also later on. I'll show you. Again, it's up to you how you want to decorate. So I have region wise thing. But then management say I can understand who is making max and less. But let's do some color coding. So first thing first, region, select the region and drag and drop on color. When you do so, everything will be colorful. Pretty cool. Check it out. Region, drag it, drag it and drop on color. Make sure you drag and drop on color and see now I'm dragging and dropping on color and it will convert as a colorful. Make sure you drop on color and it's now colorful. Please understand these are decorative. You will be using this decoration often. So be comfortable. What I did region drag and drop to color and everything is colorful. Now looks more imp impressive, but I need to have my managers to do the like scale like that man that's not right why can't i provide here dollar amount here it's straightforward it would be cool to have dollar amount here very good in order to do dollar amount very simple you need to do drag and drop so profit and put it in a, on label profit on label drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop check it out so i did profit drag and drop now pretty cool do you guys agree or not now my manager is very happy because he can see that. Any questions so far? So far so good. Now let's say if I want to transpose, like, sorry, one thing, one thing I want to show you. This one, if you present, your manager will give you B grade. So what is A grade? So when you are showing profit or when you are showing, you are showing comparison. And when you are comparison, you just do one simple thing and it will have an interesting thing. Sort this thing. So you start with low to high and your manager will appreciate it. Check it out. You just click it and same thing. Now you're going to get a grade. Check it out. Pretty cool. Or you can do this way. Pretty cool. Look at that sorting life changing experience, right? If I don't do sorting, then I have to do a lot of manual, but this gives you crystal clear. This is this central is this. Do you guys agree? Right? So that is the style you need to do, but then why this white space, too much white space? Very good. Click here and there is options available. Check it out. There is a options available. Do you want to take entire width? If yes, you can say fit width. And if you do fit width, what happened? Check it out. And if you do fit width, your manager will appreciate now. It looks much more professional. See guys, final touch is always important. Somebody say that, right? A million dollar house without good elevation will not be million dollar house same thing if your resume without spell check without proper font color style and all is useless because people don't check resume people check formatting if they don't like it they won't read it same thing our dashboard so far any questions so far so good now tableau gives you a lot of freedom here see look at that if you want to click on the right side just one by one click it and see what happens Tableau gives you freedom to check all the graphs available. So different, different ways you can present the same data. This one shows comparison, which is nicely presented. But if you want to see table, you can do like that. If you want to do like a pie chart, you, this is very bad because it doesn't give you true representation. So I would not use it. But if you use this one, it gives a pretty good representation. Uh, bubble chart, you can see waste and is out of waste is doing pretty good. Definitely doing good, but I don't see I don't see my dollar amount here, but if I move my mouse, it shows me that. If I move my mouse, it shows me, but I don't see the dollar amount here. So bubble chart looks good. It shows the which region has a more profit. Doesn't give me my dollar amount. Don't cry. Very simple. You can get dollar amount by just labeling. So take the profit and drag and drop in a label. And you can see that. Check it out. You can get that. And right away, you can see that. Any questions? Sir? So far, so good. Every time you are formatting, you see these items are showing up here. Now, you see the dollar is not showing up here. 
And without dollar, the number doesn't give me more clue because I live in United States. I like to have a dollar. Do you guys agree? So there are many ways. If you are going for Power BI, sorry, Tableau certification, this kind of thing, they will ask you format. So there are many ways you can format. So Tableau says what you're presenting here, what you're presenting here is this sum profit, right? You're presenting here some profit. So here's some profit. You are doing profit here, right? So you have two, three ways. First, you pick profit and try to format itself. So let's see what we do. So if I right click here, right click here, and if I see here, what are the options I, available here? So you can see here, uh, one of options is change type, right? And I can see for profit, I can see this, and there is a default, if default properties are there for profit, default properties, and it gives me color, it gives me number format. So I'm gonna select number format. Let me repeat. I click on profit, right click on that, default properties, and I'm selecting. So that way I can see, show my profit in a proper formatting. So let's get started. So right click on a profit, went to default property and number formatting. And in that select number currency. So currency standard, currency standard, which is the fourth item, currency standard. Select that currency standard and click on okay. It's United States, right? And now do okay and say ta-da. Was it hard? Was it hard? This is the one question they ask in exam, five points you get. Was it hard? Currency? Pretty simple. Easy, right? Yes. Perfect. Now, sometimes, you know, you may say, man, this, this font are not readable. These fonts are not readable. Let's do formatting on that. So if you want to do that, first of all, these are all label, right? all the labels so there are many many ways you will be surprised how many ways you can do formatting so you can see i'm here profit right and i right click right and if i go to default property right and then there is a number formatting here right color and other things are here so if i do number formatting i get this way there is i'm not getting size or not no worries but if i go here label if i go to label because this what you see here these are called label Okay, so I right click on a label. So if I, sorry, click on label, my mistake, click on label. So there are a couple of things you can learn. I need anything that makes Tableau super duper easy compared to Power BI because it's so much available in front of you. So if I click here, everything will disappear. All label will disappear. Why don't you click here? So you will know what I'm talking about. Boom, everything disappear. Boom, everything come back. Wow, that's pretty cool. Allow label overlap. This is another question in the exam. So make sure you remember that they will ask you because sometimes your label will be on top of that. So what happened? Tableau is smart. If label A is there and if you write label B, Tableau will not show label A because it's overwritten. So if you click on that, you will see like two label. It's like a, like a blurry type of thing. That gives you idea that you need to create some space. But if you don't do that, it will Tableau smart clean up that and it shows only one label, which is kind of question in the exam. But let's say people are saying, hey, let's format here. So there are so many things you can do here. So first let's start with this dot, dot, dot. So when you click on dot, 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 I'm gonna click again and three, three dots, I click here. So I come here. Now they give me this option region, which definitely visible here. And I can see the sum is visible here. So first thing I'm gonna, Highlight this to highlight this thing and try to see the font changes to bigger, bigger font and try to see this one is 14 and I want to apply and say, ta-da, it works. Look at that. My manager doesn't need to have lens now. They can see this crystal clear. They can see even they can be far and they can see just simple thing. But look what looks good. What do you think? Right. It is the power of polishing. So make sure. Presentation is very important for Tableau or Power BI. If you don't spend time on that, many people do hard work, but you need to do smart work. Now, if you want to change color and all, I'm sure you know that. So I'm not going to go in detail. I say, okay. Sometimes you want to do certain things alignment wise. So here there's alignment. By default, this is another question. By default, alignment is automatic. However, you have a lot more alignment. So click here and try it out. So if you click here again, click on label 
and click here there are many many options available so if you are horizontal right now horizontal right now we are in center if you want to do right automatically you want to do this way this way whichever way you want so let's do one by one play around so click on label uh, automatic and let's say i do right left side you see everything is left side if i do right everything is right side so central is right side pretty good uh, if i do vertical so you can see now it's vertical uh, if i do this side so you can see everything is changed if i do this side everything change every this side so again play around in exam this kind of thing they ask it they are not asking detailed questions they are asking do you know the options how to play around those this minute detail they're asking if you don't practice there is no way you can clear the certification i'll give you assurance they want you to be master in the tool and the only way you do master when you practice that's why homework lab and project is extremely important tableau certification is just one week practice you can clear the certification i give you guarantee but you do need to practice any questions so far good so i like it now i want to copy this thing so let's learn part number two copy so i want to copy this so i just click it here so when i click here so you can see now i have a new worksheet at the bottom this is my master worksheets and now it's copied worksheet and it makes my life easy font color style everything is as is so i don't have to start over so i click here and i'm in a second so right now i'm in a second this was my master and this is my second so now i want to change a little bit here so i click here and i i want to keep a re, this uh, region versus profit perfectly fine but this time i want to take a bar graph as soon as i change the bar graph you see what happens where do you click, click copy sorry, sorry where do you click to copy it this one oh yeah, thank you mm -hmm. so as soon as i do bar graph you, you see everything reset so tableau has done one thing bad about tableau is it resets as soon as you change the chart so as soon as i change the type type of chart it reset it now i have to play around again a little bit no problem that's what we are learning so first of all i don't like i do not like this type of way horizontal so i'm going to do transpose make sure you see on the screen and do it right so when you do transpose everything will be transpose check it out boom and then same story again you need to do so if i want to do color what should i do same thing you region drag and drop in a color please do so region drag and drop to color and then again do the same thing profit drag and drop to label so you have profit here everything looks good now it shows like this way and i'm okay with that nothing wrong in that but let's say you want to customize this bar you want to customize this bar sometimes you want to right but if i go here if i go here and i select fit in width on the top if i select fit width then it will become a pretty gigantic like this right i want to customize i want to control myself i want to control my own way right so there are ways you can customize also and that's what i'm going to show you and that is called click on size so click on size this is also one of the exam question again it's very hidden many people struggle lifetime they don't understand at all yes melanie okay so you said it'll reset um but the formatting doesn't change right yeah because the dollar sign is still mm -hmm. there because i select color uh, default this is a default i selected default so anything i right click and i do default please understand default will remain lifetime but anything i do here here will disappear okay thank you mm -hmm. now this is cool this will be another question please pay attention see when i select fit width make sure you follow the flow when i click on fit width everything is gigantic right i want to customize i want to control my own way so in order to control you click on size you click on size and when you click on size this is hidden this is the question it's hidden you get a, like a scroll bar you can see look at that you can control the size and this is the question they ask pretty cool right you can control you can control you the way you want right again it's hidden no one knows where it is and that's why it's the question they ask in the exam pretty cool so size wise you can change the you know bar height width and all kind of things pretty cool question so far it looks good right when you control like that you know you can decide how big you want how smaller you want awesome now so far so good 
now I like this chart. I'm good with that. Now I want to go to the new thing. How we are doing with the, oh, sorry, before I go, this is interesting. You may like this one also. There is an automatic here, but if you click here, you can play around different type of things. So you can do bar. So right now we are in bar. Uh, if you click on line, it will convert as a line. If you click on the area, it will convert as an area. So you can play around. You can circle like that. So there are tons of things you can do also. And you can map, map also, but map you it won't understand because region it doesn't understand map. But bar is the most appropriate for this type of analysis. Again, when you do this, please, please, please sort it because this is up. Sorry, this is down. This is up. This is down. This is up. My manager doesn't like that. So I will always do sorting because my manager likes some kind of flow, either down or better. This is beautiful, right? Awesome. Now, this is perfect. Now I need my another worksheet. So we are going to do analysis number three. So let's click on the worksheet here. Please click here. And you click on, you will have a new worksheet. And when you click on new worksheets, double click on that and say, we'll say state versus profit. I hope you are enjoying. You see how energetic I am right now. This is the way you should be energetic when you are talking about data story. Because if you are not having energy, this is not the class you can enjoy. Because trust me, when you present, mm. people will yawning. People will do texting. People will not focus at all. But when you start presenting, you have to capture that audience attention. And if you cannot, this is not the area you can be successful. So make sure you have a verb base, you have sp like spice in your voice, the variation, and make sure you engage by vo volume. Because if they don't listen to you, all your work is just to work, no value. So make sure you focus on presentation, excite people so they focus, right? That's why I love teaching because I have taught most likely 30,000 hours so far. So those hours is helping me how to influence my audience. You have to practice. When I'm asking, hey, who is volunteer? Only Melanie spoke up out of 18. If you don't practice here, how can you be successful in a real interview or real work? You will fail miserably there. So make sure you practice. More you practice, you will become like me. Remember I told you like a couple of weeks back, People were not even getting $10,000. I got $4 million approval. What, am, what are you doing? This presentation. That's the power. So make sure you get that. Tool anybody can learn. But how to present with the tool? Only you can learn. Make sense? Now let's start here. So state versus profit. So state versus process profit. State is a geospatial. So as soon as you use state, Tableau will say, hey, this is the map. Check it out. So let's double click on state. So when you double click on state, as soon as you double click, Tableau will say, wait a minute, I have map. Look at that, it brought the map. It takes a little time, it downloads the map, but you will see map. I just double click on the state and you got a map. Did you? Did you guys got the map? Yes. Awesome. Now there is a, some techniques people ask in the exam and I want to make sure you understand. It's very simple, but easy technique. There are two maps are there. Carefully read that. This map, which you see here, picture says, but you may not understand unless you focus here. This map shows bubble with the size. Bubble with the size. Okay? Still don't get it? I'll show you. So if profit is big, then bubble will be. If profit is small, bubble will be small. So that's just a bubble. Most people don't like that. But there is one graph called field graph which is my favorite, I mostly use it. So sometime in your exam, there will be a question about that. They sometimes don't tell you like that, but they use verbiage and some it's confusing. So make sure field means it will color, color the entire state. So that's one. And sometimes they ask very weird question, which is called street map, which is no one can figure it out that. I'll show you the trick because it's not visible, but it's there. And people say, I have different version. But it's not, you have that, but it's hidden. So we'll do step by step, one by one. So right now we have state. So please understand, as soon as I add state, it it did latitude, latitude longitude, geospatial. Now I'm going to focus on profit. So I double click on profit. So please understand, I double click on state, and now I'm double clicking on profit. One, two, three, and see what happened. You see some 
so some bubble are bigger and some bubble are smaller. If you see carefully, New York is big, California is big, and Washington is big, but others are kind of small. Carefully see, otherwise you won't see the noticeable difference. Do you guys agree? Yes or no? Perfect. Now, now if you if you see here, as soon as I did profit, it automatically show me bubble here. It gives me clue here that this bubble are changed according to according to the profit size. But sometimes bubble may not be readable. So there is a way you can change it by clicking size here. So click on size. And if you click on size, you can make it be bigger bubble. Look at that. Look at that. And this is what people like. Why? Because you can show them. Otherwise, tiny. Like if you have this thing, people won't understand. If you have this thing, people may not understand. You're still showing the same thing. So be careful. If you're showing bubble, show that there is a difference between bubble. Right? Like reasonably. I'm not saying do this way. This will be bad. Right? Very bad. I'm not saying this but have a reasonable so it looks good agreed but bubble without dollar is not good so now we need to do labeling so very simple same concept over and over make sure you remember profit to label profit to label so drag and drop the only thing you need to do drag and drop so profit drag and drop boom i got that so far you guys with me say yes or no Yes. So far, so good? Yes. Awesome. yes. Now, sometimes they may ask you a question in the exam. Color, color this thing. Color this thing. Right? Or they may ask change color of this. Let's do one by one. Okay? So, if you want a color of this like the blue, there are two types of color they will ask. And that's a very typical question. Profit versus loss. So, if I ask you a very simple question. If it is a profit, what color would you show? Green. Very good. And if it's a loss, what color would you show? Red. Very simple, common, simple question. Entire world knows green means good, red means bad, right? But here we are showing blue is doesn't look light. So if you present this thing to in front of C executive, you lost your all credit. They only interested in green and red. Hmm. So how should we do? Very simple. Focus. Don't ask me repeat because when you ask repeat, it hurts my heart. Important thing. Because if I keep repeating, I'll miss my my thought, chain of thought. Extremely important in an exam perspective. You will have a question and you always use profit and loss this way. Okay, ready? Follow the flow. So the first thing you need to understand, these all are informations is coming through this color. So click on color. So click on color. So when you click on color, you see this thing, right? Now, this color aspect, I want to have special color here. So th the way color is right now is, if I double click here, I don't have a way to change the color of my part. I can do, you know, here you can see here, I can, I can do this way, I can do dark, I can do this, but I don't get color like that. Hmm. So what should I do? So there is one thing I can do is check it out. Please pay attention. I drag the profit and I put on a color. Listen carefully. I drag this thing and put it in color. There are four or five steps will follow. So please, please follow along with me. Then you will see the magic. Okay. So drag the profit and put it on color. So here you go. So far, see different, different color you are seeing. Say yes. 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 But it's still not green and red. So now I'm going to show you that. Ready? So now please understand every step matters. I'm not going fast. You are extremely slow. That's why everyone look like fast. I'm drawing it. I'm explaining it. I'm doing it. Remember, you have to follow the flow. If not, watch recording, but you do you do it and you will learn it. Once I did it, I saw color flavor. Now I am having ability to change the color. Before I did not have this ability. Now I have color, but I need a green and blue. So very simple. After I drag and drop, now I click on this, I will have added color. Before that, it was not there, if you remember carefully. So now add, edit color is there. So let's click on it. So edit color, click on it. Now you have here. Now this is beautiful part, but there is something hidden. So you want to make sure you understand that part. And that's why they ask in the exam. So click here. So when you click here, there is a concept called read green diverging. 
make sure you select that green, green diversion. Make sense? You select that. So it gives you divider. Red means loss. Green means profit. And there will be a divider. So how do we do that? So click on that first. So when you click on red, green, divide, diverging, make sure you select red, green, diverging. And when you click on that, you come here. Still, we are not done yet because it doesn't know where to divide. So the divide part is available in advance. So go to advance. All those things matters. Again, you don't have to memorize, you play around. When you play around, you will remember lifetime. If you memorize, you will forget next day, right? So click on advance. So when you click on advance, there is a small check mark you need to do, which is this one, center. And that's the magic. It gives you idea that this will be a zero, this will be a loss, this will be a profit, perfect. Make sure you click on center and now apply and ta-da! Do you see that? Now manager is happy. You can see dark green is a mean more profit. Which state has a more profit? Which two state has a more profit? California and New York. Extremely visible. Do you agree or not? And if somebody asks, tell me four or five state which has a loss. Orange colors are visible. Yes or no? So this is the way you make things explicit, right? Your managers can see. Now you can do, okay. Now, if I go to color, I can make it a little bit cap, you know, opacity dark or make, I can do that up to me. How I want to do that. I can make it dark, opacity, I can do that also. If somebody say, can you make a border, border on the thing? You can do here and you can use a border if you want a special color. Decoration matters. Decoration matters, guys. Trust me, majority time you will spend in decoration, just doing a little bit border. You give a little flavor. Again, Pick a border of your company style and all. You may have a guideline. Some of you call design guidelines. So follow that. Just a little bit border. Gives you a beautiful look. Okay. Play around. Now people say, you know, wait a minute. I need a street map. Not like a gray color because sometimes people don't like gray color. So street map. That is a very hidden part. So only way you can follow is menu. So go to menu. Click on menu map. Click on map. This is also one question they ask called geospatial or uh, aerial map. So I'll show you background map. Go to map. And then you can see here, you know, street map. And you can see, ta-da. Ta-da. So you can see like a street map. Again, exam they will ask. It's not readable. But in exam, they can ask anything. Just want to make sure you know the concept. If you go to map again and say background map and say normal map, so this is normal map, it's more readable, do you agree? It's more readable, very nice map, go to map, background map, lighter, it's, this is lighter, which is ugly, I don't like lighter, map, go here, let's dark map, oh wow, that's pretty different, go to map, go to back, and outdoor map, which is this one, and go to map, and here, and here satellite map, which is geospatial, like that, again, can do that easy easy question concerns so you can play around any questions so far but now let's change the topic to the another map we have second map here which is this one which is called filled map filled means your state will be filled so check it out you click on it and the map is there it is crystal clear green and blue I like Obama, right? It's not a blue state. It's not a you know green state. It's a United States. So here is the United States, but it's a profit wise green and red. Again, you know how to do it. So if I want to do labeling, so you can see the labels are not there. So we can put label. This is called tooltip. So if you want to add some content in a tooltip, you can do that. Uh, just like Power BI, you cannot customize tooltip that much, but you can add item. So check it out. So let's talk about tooltip. So this is a tooltip. Anything you want to add here, you drag and drop. So like example, right now, if I move here, it is showing me profit, but I want to show sales also. So you just drag the, you drag the cells, you drag the cells and put it on tooltip and see what happens. So drag the cells and put it in tooltip. And now you can see you have cells also. If you want a quantity, drag and drop on a tooltip. So you can see nicely everything at once. But how do I add the label? 
same thing drag and drop on label check it out so profit you dragged and drop on label so now profit visible uh, sales drag and drop and you will see that so again whatever you want you can do but how beautiful it looks right nice and easy so i like that graph so we are done with the uh, state graphs any question concerns doubt good now interesting question let's say our manager is asking uh, how our profit let me uh, question how our profit year by year our manager is asking our profit year by year so let's do add a worksheet here see guys these questions are asked by your stakeholders and stakeholder talking to stakeholder is working with your team in your team people are not coming on time they are not putting effort yes or no i know that but that is the reason they need a team some of you does not have a time they are working they are not your stakeholder will be exactly like that you call you email they don't respond and suddenly they will ask hey can you work right now can you give me this so you need to have that type of learning your stakeholder will ask very different different type of questions and sometimes contradictory so rather than fighting you may want to create a new worksheet so here i'm going to create a new worksheet year wise profit so let's click on here year so we'll say year versus profit So first of all, year versus profit. So in this case, I have an order date. I have order date. Through that, I can get a year, month, and quarter. Tableau is pretty smart. It can give us drill down, year, month, quarter, week, all the way you can go for it. So I'm gonna show you that. So please pay attention. I double click on order date. So by default, it is giving you plus sign. Again, this will be a question in the exam. Whenever you see plus sign in appeal, it means it is expandable. So if you click on that, it will expand to quarter. If you click on that, it will expand to the month. If you click on that, it will expand to day. So it is expandable, kind of drill down, just like a Power BI has drilled down. Here you do expand. And if you if you click on the, again, one more time, it will bring back to normal. So far so good. Now, I'm gonna show you three techniques. These three techniques will change your perspective because you will have always a date column. No matter what you do, somewhere you will have date column, shipping date, order date, invoice date, customer date, visit date, marking date, something, and you need to do reporting. So there are three, four ways people normally do report, and you, you use this technique. So first I have year. Now I want to do profit. So I double click on profit. So I have year wise profit. So you can see nicely year wise profit. Now, what can I learn from that? So first, this when somebody saw the table, you can learn quickly. You only learn when you do graph or chart. So let's say I want to do time series graph. Time series means how am I doing with time wise? This one, if I say here 49, so it seems like growth, seems like growth, seems like growth. So it means definitely we are growing. So trending is up, but visual is the best way to present, right? So let's do it. So here you can see right away when you do this, it gives you graph here so i'm going to pick one of this time line line chart so click on that so you can see nicely line charts also so please understand i just click on one of them so i click on one of them and line chart so so now you can see the line is so straight so this is called smoothing what we call smoothing again in interview people may ask you question smoothing so what is smoothing means so Anyone who use data analysis world, please, please understand this is called zigzag or variability. The variability, anytime you have variability, it means show the some variance or some differences, maybe month to month, weeks to weeks or day to day things. But from this, if you show like some kind of straight light up thing, it's called smoothing. So what is smoothing means? So I'll show you, you will see right away. Okay, so right now, the reason I have smoothing because I aggregated data to year level. If I need a variability, I need to do drill down, check it out. So if I go to here, variability, if I click again, month, and if I click again, weeks, do you see the variability? So what do you learn right now? So the, the data at a smaller level, like daily, weekly, you have more variability, but if I aggregate them daily to weekly, weekly to monthly, monthly to quarterly and quarterly to yearly, my 
variability disappear and smooth smoothing starts so whenever you want smoothing you have a big picture year wise and when you want variability which is like a smaller picture which is called zoom in which is daily now sometimes you might be interested in daily but when you are in c executive they're mostly interested in like a big picture so like example if you want month wise that might be this way so now let's say go back sorry my mistake i'll do control z so here i'll do control z one more time control z control z means undo so monthly so this gives me super variability right and if i do control z i see the variability disappear because i d control z means i'm in quarter wise so you can see smooth out happen so sometimes management wants quarterly report because daily report is called noisy report it's kind of too much data they don't care about daily they want like quarterly monthly like that so understand stakeholder perspective what kind of deal they want so right now i have quarterly and i'm showing quarterly report but i don't see the tick mark i don't see the tick mark here i don't see any data here so again if you want tick mark what should i do label got it you put it here and you get that so you can see nicely quarter wise you can see the profit right any questions so far beautiful graph right do you guys agree versus this graph so you can see nice variability so you can see that nicely but most time management will ask question can you show me two things and this is very very interesting thing okay right now we are showing profit but they might be want to interest in uh, some kind of comparison like how we are doing with that so they need two graphs at the same time how many graphs two graphs so like example profit and sales oh profit is one um, one matrix sales is another matrix but dimension is still they want year or quarter hmm how should i do that very simple please understand whenever you are doing graph or chart i think someone is to mute i think i can see background noise if you're not talking please mute yourself it would otherwise the recording will have all your switches now mute yourself perfect okay uh, so please understand dimension is quarter and my matrix here is some but i want cells also very simple in that case you drag and drop and you will have two charts pretty cool drag and drop and you have two charts so problem problem will happen you have, you have some profit and you have some sales so this is the thing here so you can see there are two graph one is the profit graph and one is the sales graph so you can see their values are visible here now if you want this cells right in a different color or you want to have like both graph represented you can click here and when you click here please pay attention that specific segment will be bold and this one will be bold or you can click on that special chart if you click on the chart that will be bold and this will give you selection option so when you now select anything here will apply to that chart so i have selected some cells so that is bold so if i click on right now automatic and i say bar so now i see my bar chart pretty cool much better do you agree so I'm, I can show you whichever chart I want to change. I need to click on it. So right now I click on cells. Please understand. I click on cells and then I selected bar chart. Now let's say I specify and I have here nice, beautiful, nice, beautiful. I have my profit line chart. Any questions so far? So far so good. Now let's say I want to do some kind of, you know, decorations, anything in a profit i click on that so now i have profit and if i want to change something on a profit let's say i want to do just a learning purpose area graph so i can do area graph again right now i'm changing only profit so i can do that let's say i want to go back to line graph because that was my favorite i put a line graph so i have line graph now manager say you know what mm, i need both together this is one of the most important question in your exam first you have two charts dimension is still same dimension is quarter one is matrix is you know profit and one is sales but now manager wants both together how should we do very simple thing correct answer is dual axis speak with me dual axis dual means profit 
and sales these are uh, axis are there you can see they have both have a different axis so this is profit axis and this is sales axis if you want both to be in one then you need another axis this side one for profit and one for sales the concept is called dual axis this is one of the question guaranteed exam right dual axis dual axis is interview also people ask because sometimes you want to combine multiple graphs together which is called dual axis how should we do it it's pretty simple pretty simple check it out you go to some cells pick any peel which is the second peel in my case and there is a dual axis that's it dual axis that's it you see dual axis let's click on it and see what the ha what happens dual axis boom nice nice do you guys agree both are are guys able to are guys able to do it something yes. happened something happened um it's highlighting multiple dimensions at the same time for me i did it though my on my sorry what is something happened nefteri i'm not understanding the question so when i go to the tables and i click on um order date it's highlighting like multiple ones at the same time it means your shift or control is selected you just escape use always escape in case sometime keyboard might have stuck okay. use escape and then select thank you mm -hmm. uh anyone else any questions concerns I hope you are enjoying. This is one of the most important exercise. Dual axis. People ask. Many people don't know. Lifetime. Okay. Now, you can see there is a because of these two graphs are such a way that it's not readable. And our goal is to make it readable. Okay. So first, how do we make it readable? First thing first. Any time you show these two thing, right? This this one, this one together, it doesn't look good. So there's a concept called synchronize both axis it means profit and sales will have similar matrix scale easy language synchronize so we want to synchronize so both axis will look same and we can hide one axis because two axis is like a think about continuously left and right seeing is not human nature so how should we do that very simple you right click on right click here right click this side and just say synchronize axis it means both axes will have now similar scale right now this scale is different than this one so right click synchronize axis and tada so that is one way you can synchronize axis now when you synchronize axis what happened the line it went down it's okay now if i right click here i can hide i can hide i can hide this thing so you can see show header you can just click here and hide that so you can hide this option option so please understand you click here and just uncheck that so it will hide that thing so you can click here and you can hide that so you can you can do that part very smoothly now still i want to have that graph right what happened with my graph because we synchronize what happened they it will put it in a line at the bottom it will put it in a bottom i'll show you the color wise but you can see right now i synchronize so what should i do how do i get the detail so there are a couple of ways you can do one you have to change the color so it will give you the some flavor so right now the orange color is pretty pretty advanced here so what should we do so you have option here you have options here to uh, you know move it around so you can see i can move it around so you can see here i'm moving here up and down and so you can see now i can i can change the, sorry do control z sorry let me repeat let me this is one right now i'll do later that part so let's do this way right now i'm going to select some profit so click on some profit so we will have here so we can change the color so some profit so we select some profit some profit so i'm here so make sure you select some profit so when you select some profit you are here now i still have a line graph but my color i'm going to see my color up capacity is right now 100 percent and see where where is the color i see small tiny here but it's the back behind the scene so see if i can get that color and i'm going to select edit color and right now profit has this color i selected that it looks like a pretty dark but it's behind the scene so it's not showing me that thing no problem so apply right now it's fine nothing wrong in that 
Now I'm going to select some cells. So I select the some cells, same concept I'm trying to do. Select some cells. I'm here. Now a bar which I have, I'm going to reduce the bar size. So I want to see my details. So I click on the bar side. So I have bar, nothing wrong in that. I'm color. I'm going to see if I can reduce the opacity of the color. Now I can see, ah, thank God, my graph is showing up. Otherwise it was hidden. I was saying where it is, right? So this technique a little bit works properly and you can make it like nicer. Again, people don't like dark color. So make it nicer, beautiful color. If you think this is not good color, you can use color also. Again, whichever color you like, there are panels, pick a color if you want. Like example, if you want this color, apply that color and you know, pick whatever you like. So right now I'm here and if I want to show, prop, I mean cells, so select the cells. Instead of this, let's say I want to apply that, I can apply the color also, which I want to do. Again, choice is yours. Pick a color. Now, please see here. What I did is I click on the sum cells, right? And then I went to the color, right? And then I click here and I should change the opacity. You can change the opacity the way you want. And you can see now it's visible, right? Sometimes it's good like that. Now, I don't want to show this all bars are connected, right, properly. So I'm gonna give a little bit you know, differences on that. So a little bit border. So I can give a border like that. So you can see now nice border is given. Again, you can play around. Now I click on size. I click on size. So if I click on size, and see here right now, it's a fixed side. And if I do manual, so please understand, size, manual. And now I have a choice. Be cool. I have a choice. So I can make my bar the way I want. Make sense? So it's, it's not going to eat up my whole thing and make it professional look. Man, this is, looks much better, right? You, you can decide the way where it's more readable. It's more readable, right? And nice, beautiful graphs. Questions, concerns now. So you can see now, right now, you have profit and you have sales. So you can see both at the same time. Question, concerns, doubt. Are you doing good so far? Now, people might be interested in, hey, I want to have some filter uh, because manager doesn't like to just see that. Manager want to have slice and dice. So we ask question, what filter you want? So manager say, I want to have region wise. Right now, you're showing this thing. This is good, but I want to see like region wise, you know, profit quarter one, quarter two. Okay, no problem. So in that case, you take a region here. Please understand. You select region here and put it here. So that gives you filter capability. Check it out. So you click on region and it gives which region you want. So if I click on central, so you can see right now, apply. So you can see it's a central wise, beautiful graph. And if you select uncheck and it's say apply here, they, they can see that. If you want central and that and apply, they can see that. So beautiful way they can see that also. Again, Whatever we are doing right now, we are in a desktop, but when we publicize, they will have filter just like Power BI interactive dashboard. They will be able to slice and dice by themselves. So filter, we should give them so they get that ability. Right now, I'm going to select all of them and I say apply. So they are all applied. So this is nice filter is there. This filter, they will see that when I publicize and they will be able to play around. So always select filter, nothing wrong in the filter. Any questions so far? Good, awesome. Now let's do one more. So <clears throat> click one more and then we'll take a break. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Give me thumbs up if you are enjoying. Otherwise, let me know. I have to stop, slow down, stop. Any question? Because I'm super excited. I have a long run to go. But any questions so far? Vibhuti, you are doing? Steve, Ben, Jiba. You've been quiet, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. Viputu, are you with us? Knock, knock. Steve, Wayne. Yes. Good, good. Okay, let's do one more. This is my favorite. Uh, you, you may like it. Okay, so click on plus sign, uh, one more worksheet. Let's do that. Remember, it's all about analysis. And we are doing analysis without single line of code, which is amazing, right? Double click here and we'll say, year year versus let's do month month 
versus profit. Month versus profit. Now, you know, month I'm going to get from order date. So this time, check it out. I'm going to do here order date, which is here. So I'm going to put it order date on a row. And I'm putting order date on a column. You will say, what, is, what are you doing here, right? This is something special. You may like it. Uh, many lim very limited people know this thing. Uh, so you can select same thing and put it in both sides. Pretty cool, huh? So here I use dimension and dimension. Oh boy, dimension and dimension. So you can see 2013 like that. And I have one matrix profit. So double click on profit, just double click and it will do magic. So there's nothing special here so far. <clears throat> so far, you might notice that I did order date and order date. And then I double click on profit and you can see 2013 profit. There is nothing special here, but magic starts now. Ready? Because our title is month versus profit. So here I'm going to select in a drop down box. In a drop down box, I'm going to select month. I'm going to select month and you will see Tada. Okay. So month. Boom. Do you see that? Beautiful report. Now check it out. It's a month wise. It's a month wise in 2013. Each month, what is the profit? Each month, what is the profit? which is the profit, right? Now, interesting question, and this is tough question, little advanced question. This data, if you see, it's like beautiful data. I mean, each month in 2003, how are we doing? But managers are very typical, right? They ask various questions. They say, how we are doing this thing? Like, you know, how are we doing with the this thing year by year? So there are a lot of things you can do. But because we are almost in a break time, I just want to play around here. So here, there is a size, there is a color, and there are a lot of things you can apply. So like example, if I drag and profit and put in color, you will see what happened right away. You can see color. So right away, I put it profit here, and you can see right away, 2014 January, we made a biggest loss. So if they ask question in the exam, this is the which you call practical exam, which month we made the biggest loss. So you can see in 2014, January, we made a biggest loss, right? And if they ask which month we made the highest profit, it's it's like a visible here, right? You can see here, you can you can si try to see like, you know, whatever the bold you have, right? Crystal clear, there's a bold. So this is the definitely highest profit you made here. So there's another way you can do, it. it's just profit, put it in a size. And when you put in size, of course, it's not readable right now, but you can see put in a size, you can see all the number here, but let me bring the size back. So I'm going to remove the size part back. So which one is the size? I think I'm going to remove that. So like this. So I have this. You can do color, you can do text, you can do bold, all those things. So sometimes they may ask you a question. Again, you can also use sort here. So when you do sort here, you can get. But this time I want to show you highlight. That's how I'm presenting. And I want to highlight particular column, particular role. So, right, if I do here, check it out. If I click on 2013, see it's highlighting. Are you guys able to see highlight in your case like this? Yes. You are seeing, right? So, the reason you are able to see, because there's a concept called analysis. Uh, maybe, sorry, my mistake. It should be here in the bottom here. This, this one, there's a concept called highlight. Right. And in highlighter, you can say you want to highlight based on column or you want to based on highlight uh, rows. So check it out. So click here, use highlighter. So right now I can select which one I want to highlight. So let's say I want to highlight year. So select year right now. So see what happens if I select year, uh, highlighter, year. So now check it out. If I click on 2015, if I 2015, it is highlighting, right? And I say this is it highlighting, right? Now you go back here and say highlighter month. So if I select, like if I click anywhere, if I click anywhere, right? And now if I click on the month, so you can see month is highlighting that. It's not highlighting year, but it's highlighting year. So you can, you can again play around. Sometimes that item will be, when you're presenting, rest of the things will become a dark. Rest of the things will become a dark. So it's kind of focus on particular item. Again, just a presentation perspective. There is nothing special here. However, 
However, if somebody asks question, this is important question. Are we profitable 2013 to 2014? Are we loss wise? How are we doing year by year? That question is very tough to answer because right now I have dollar amount. What percentage of growth happening between 2013 to 2014? It's pretty hard to tell. Do you guys agree? It gives me number, but it doesn't give me percentage. So how do we get it? Easy way, very easy way to get it. <clears throat> Check it out. It's hidden, but it's not hidden. So anytime you are having this data, and if you want to show percentage, Tableau gives you very interesting things on a sum. So if you go to sum, there's a tiny arrow. Please click on tiny arrow. And they have something called quick tables. They have something called quick tables. You click on here, quick tables. And you give a lot of options available. You get a lot of options available. Let me repeat again. These are all data, some data. But if you click on the arrow, it gives you quick tables. It is very useful. So if you want to see year wise how my growths are. So I will say year over year growth, 2013, 2014, perfect. So I'm going to do year over growth and check it out. This is awesome. It means since 2013, oh my God, in December, we were negative. But in March, we made a significant growth. And this one is lost. So if you want to celebrate, this is the month I would celebrate. Whatever we have done here, I wish we can repeat. This is also great, great growth. So it compares with your baseline. So it's not showing 2013 because it is compare a baseline. So you can see here, please pay attention. It is not showing 2013 but because it's using as a baseline. So compared to 2013 December, you made a loss. So how do I know that? I click here, this tiny arrow. I click on the tiny arrow and I can clear, clear, please pay attention. I can clear the table calculation. So it's back to normal. Now see here. So you had 8,900 and here you have 8,000. So naturally data went down. And if you see here, you had, uh, you had a, what do you call January? You can see here, you're 2000 and you significantly went down in the 2014. So you can see negative right there. So you can see here, you're negative and you went up. So here I should expect up, here I should expect down. So now go back again, click here, quick table and year over year growth. And right away, you can see that 2013 to 2014, Absolutely right. Absolutely right. So you can see that growth is here in March month. This is very important. So you can see that year wise year growth. And this is sometimes they ask, you know, financial perspective, because if you see some large, uh, what do you call company, when they are showing their financial statement, they show year wise, you know, progressive journey. And if you want to bring it back, click here and you can say clear the table. Now, if you want to show total, if you want to total like grand total on row side and grand total on column side, you can do that. And these are also questions in exam, which is very simple. So if you want to show grand total, very simple. If you want to show grand total on column, very simple. Go to analysis, go to analysis, analysis the menu, analysis the menu, go to total. Analysis the menu, go to total. And then check, check, check. Show grand total. Boom. Grand total is visible and analysis go to totals and so grand column grand total boom it's visible pretty cool any questions so far so far so good so you can always you know play around the you know what do you call a certain aspect like in example here i say year year to year growth like right? example if you want to change something you can also say like what is the you know my here you can say what is my year to date growth you can do that year to date growth it means you can see that also year to date means you can see nicely the difference also again these are financial function based on your stakeholder you can create that thing also and when you clear it you get that it also if i say if i clear this thing i get my normal grand total good
good. So right now it's 8.19. I hope you're enjoying. We are still quite a long run to go. We have selected some of them. We are not done yet. So we have done so far this thing. Now after break, we're going to do top, total top five, bottom five, some KPI, some dashboard and publish and we call a day. Make sense? So 8.19, it's time for us to take a break, drink water or drink coffee, stretch yourself. We'll be back. Okay. I'll give you a little bit more break, a little bit more. So because we have been working.